Hi, I'm Max. I'm here to introduce the next step in electric power steering for heavy commercial vehicles. Assisted steering has been a central component in everything from small cars up to large trucks and buses for almost a century. Most solutions are based on hydraulics, a technology not so well suited for electric vehicles. So today we announce the true EPS electric power steering, a compact, energy efficient, on-highway steering system for all large vehicles. Weighing in at 40 kilograms or 85 pounds and similar in size to a traditional steering gearbox and capable of 30 kN steering force and scalable for more. It's also available in different versions. In first configuration it's called True EPS Assist. It works like a traditional power steering. It simply reinforces the driver's input. In the second configuration, named True EPS by wire, the system operates in full steer by wire mode. In this configuration, the mechanical input is replaced by a secondary electric motor for full redundancy. Removing the mechanical connection allows for a more flexible vehicle design and new ways of operating the vehicle. The third configuration, True EPS Self Drive, is targeted at fully autonomous vehicles. This allows the vehicle to be controlled by an onboard navigation system or by remote control. The advantages of moving to a fully electric steering are obvious. First, there is the low power consumption. Going straight forward, the system consumes absolute zero energy. Second, True EPS can of course cooperate with all ADAS systems in a modern vehicle. And with no hydraulic oil, you reduce the negative environmental footprint and also the risk of fire. Finally, the True EPS system is a single unit design, easy to integrate in your current and future vehicles. It fully replaces all the hoses, pipes and pumps in a conventional hydraulic system with only one unit. And with the True EPS system, you have the option to evolve your steering system from a mechanical input to fully autonomous. How's that for flexibility? Isn't it time for you to drop hydraulics and go electric?